you can't be fooled by that, you know, real nice face and, you know, that real quiet demeanor. When he stepped out on the court, he was out to get you. He had toughness beyond toughness. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, again, I want to take a look at some NBA legends talking about how great John Stockton was. And I'm pretty happy that I found a couple of clips that you probably, hopefully, haven't seen before. But before we start with this episode, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. All right, you guys, let's do it. Now the first clip that I found was from Allen Iverson who talked a little about John Stockton and who obviously has a great respect for Stockton. Let's take a look. I always um, used a, you know, a, a, a John Stockton analogy. You know, he might not have been the um, most athletic guy, you know what I mean, on the, on the court, but he was so effective. He could dominate the game by, you know, thinking the game, his mind. You know what I mean? And um, letting the game come to him and, you know, seeing things before they happen and knowing, you know, what's going on in the game. You will not have Carl Malone sitting here right now without John Stockton, that little white kid from Spokane. Yeah. He has just become the NBA all-time leader at steals. He already has the record in assists. Welcoming John to the Hall of Fame is Isaiah Thomas. You know, I took John into the Hall of Fame. You know, he and I have known each other since we were like 13, 12 years old. I had no idea. Yeah. Oh. His father was the one that always kind of... Mr. Jack. Kept us together, didn't yeah. let the media pull mm. us apart or anything like that. And the way John played, right, he ran the point guard position like none other. And it was always perfect. There's no two players that epitomize hard work. I'm going to say three players. You, Stockton, and your coach, Jerry Sloan. That, that's the Mount Rushmore of hard work. Seven seconds, six, five. Stockton drives, put it up. It's good. Stockton, John Stockton, unbelievable. John Stockton taught me how to also be a champion indirectly. Because playing against him at the point guard position, Every possession you had to concentrate. He's probably the guy who I hated guarding the most because most guys you guard, you're trying to stop from scoring. With John, you had to try to stop him from passing. And the other thing that he probably was the best I've ever seen, even to this day, best screening guard in the history of our game. I, we, we see all the records with the assists and the steals, and, and that stuff was incredible and his longevity. but. He had a mean streak in him, and that guy would deliver blows with his ability to set screens unlike anybody you've ever seen. I think that he's got the most steals and most assists by far of any player that ever played basketball. Who is the dirtiest? Yeah, believe it or not, John Stockton. Oh, I believe it. He's like a QAnon guy. What are you talking about? Of course I yeah, believe like, it. Yeah, like, oh, man. Dirty so, little mother. He was so dirty. Yeah. Yeah, like my first two years, I'm like, yo, this dude is just a dirty player, bro. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's just dirty. Like, like he pull, he'll pull you, elbow you, knee you. Like, he'll do all of that. He did all of that. The, the like, short you know, like, shorts were just a disguise to get your mind off of how dirty he was. Yeah, he was. I was like, oh, my God. I'm glad I didn't play in the 80s. You, this is, this is, this is <laughs> like, that's not basketball right here. <laughs> John Stockton was probably the dude who humbled me. It made me feel like, damn, dog, do I know how to play basketball? <laughs> Shit, am I sorry, dog? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, what, you know, I've never been taking out the game so fast. He had ripped me like twice. You know, I'm going for the outlet the wrong way. He boom, steal. I get the loose ball. Oh, he gone, steal. Hey, Take you under the big screens, the yeah. He walk you all the way down to the wing. He walk you to the same spot. Whether he pressured him or not, he knew what spot he was going to get to. He was fucked once he got to the spot right, that he yeah. was going to get to. 
when I played with him, yeah, he could play. Yeah, he could play. He was damn near the best player out there every single possession. Um, now he would play every Sunday, Sunday hoops. Um, now he was, yeah, I mean, he, he's one of those guys, like when you go and play with him, he's one of those guys, like, I mean, he doesn't miss like mid-range jumpers. And, and it, it's funny because when he plays, he plays all, all ones. There's no like threes are one, twos are one, layups are one. You know, he's old school, right? He, he plays all ones. So, um, but he's one of those guys, it's like, you know where he's going to pass and he's still going to, like, you know, the pass is going to the left. And, like, you're trying to play it and, like, read it. And it's he's still going to make the play and the guy's going to get a layup. He's just so good with the ball, so good with his eyes. Um, he's so strong, so strong. Setting screens on the ball, you know, you can't bump him off the ball. But, no, he's, he's a competitor, loves to play. John Stockton would do me like that all the time. And I knew what that meant. Slow down. <laughs> so and he did it so many times, so subtle that people never, ever, ever have commented on it. And the times he did, I would run over somebody, get a charge or whatever. But that's what's neat: to be able to play with somebody that you know put the time in beforehand. And my trust with John was my life, with my life. I trust you with my life out here. And I believed everything you told me, Coach Long. Did we bump heads sometime? Well, of course, because there's a lot of testosterone going on and alpha males in the room. Hell yeah, you bumping heads. <laughs> but the neat thing about it was we always made it right. Carl Malone, 50 foot up the base. Yes, Stockton to Malone. Stockton, dive, hang it up. It's good. A chance with it. I always tell everybody, man, people always ask me who was the toughest player that I play against, and I always say John Stockton, and they say, why? I don't get that. Why not Michael Jordan? I would always tell them, a guy who only plays 32 minutes or 33 minutes, which uh, Jerry Sloan had in his rotation, when a guy who gets on the floor, who only shoots the ball 10 times, makes eight, has 16 assists, fool around and has six or seven rebounds, and four or five steals, and you look at his stats, and you say, hmm, what did he have? 24, 16, 7, and 4. How can you beat that? Stockton fires down on the lower Four of 10 seconds. He fires the three. And Stockton to the hoop, and the series is When you played against him, you had to outthink him. It's like chess playing against him. You know, it wasn't like you going out there, who's gonna be the quickest? No, this is chess. This is a long 48 minute game that you had to think about every move, every possession you had to make. Stockton steals. There it is. Stockton stole the ball. Stockton stole the ball. He's the all time leader in the history of the game. What a player. They're on their feet in celebration for John Stockton. I've always said I think John Stockton is the perfect point guard. Stock right side, stock down the middle, underneath the below, and dunk. Oh, baby, what a play by Stockton. His sense of where he was on the floor, his, his peripheral vision. It's like watching an artist work, John Stockton. You'd say, how did he see him? Huh? Oh, he's over there. Boom, he throws the pass over there. What a pass, John Stockton. He's one of the few guys could pass a basketball where players wanted it. To me, it's phenomenal. You know, the one thing that's always mind-boggling to me is that I have a feeling that there are many people who still underrate John Stockton. And I don't know if it is because he didn't win a championship or because he wasn't a flashy or what it is, but there are still so many people out there who still say, oh, he was just good because of Karl Malone or um, he was not one of the greatest point guards of all time. He's so far uh, inferior to Magic Johnson and to Isaiah Thomas. And to me, I think if he would have played with a Lakers team like the Showtime Lakers in the 1980s, he definitely would have won an NBA championship. And I also believe that he was, I don't want to say because it will get some bashing, but to me, I think he's almost on the same level as Isaiah Thomas. I mean, it's like this close, in my opinion. But
But it's the time for you guys to give me your opinion. Let me know in the comments below how great was John Stockton in his prime throughout his entire career. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.